Welcome back to Whisper Gaming ASMR. And as now customary, I just want to let you know there's a version of this video with gameplay audio and without gameplay audio. So if you go down and check the description, I have a link to the other version. So if you're watching this with gameplay audio and you'd rather not have any gameplay audio, uh, that link's down there to switch, and vice versa. But with that out of the way, today we will be playing Minecraft once again. But I am trying out a mod. I've been seeing uh, kind of a lot of hype about that I've been wanting to try out. And it's called Cobblemon. So we're going to start our journey right here by checking out, well, by selecting a starter Pokemon. And, unfortunately, the one region they don't have is Johto, which is my favorite since Silver was the first real Pokemon game I played. Uh, I'm tempted to go with Owen. I did like Sceptile back in the day, and Mudkip, they're all pretty good from Owen. But I think I'm going to keep it classic and go with Charmander. There are apparently data packs. And there we go, that's how we get Charmander out. Um, there are data packs where you can add uh, Pokemon that aren't currently in the game that people have made. And uh, ideally, Totodile would be my first choice. But looks like we can't do that as of right now. So, I don't know a ton about this mod. I watched a couple of videos. Um, let's see, okay, so there are sheep. Okay, this is what I need up here. Um, these are apricorns, which I need apparently an axe to harvest them, since I did not get anything. Um, I do have all the hostile mobs turned off, hopefully. I think I turned them off in settings. Um, but yeah, so I guess we're just gonna kind of test this out and see how it goes. Okay. I'm trying to remember the bindings here. I'm having a, it's been a few weeks since I last played Minecraft. Okay, there's my Charmander just hanging out. I don't know if this is like the best biome to be starting in. Um, I guess we'll see what they have for ice Pokemon in this game. I'm assuming I would harvest the apricorn to the axe. And then I'll make a pickaxe. But apparently there is a different Pokemon mod for Minecraft that's been around for a long time called Pixelmon. And a lot of people... There we go. Um, a lot of people are saying that this might be the Pixelmon killer from what I've seen on YouTube. Don't know how much truth there is to that. I've never played Pixelmon, but I have seen the art style. And uh, I like this art style a lot more since... Uh, what is that down there? Since Pixelmon... Um, is that like a penguin? That doesn't even that doesn't look like a Pokemon. Or like a normal mob. Let's go check that out. Um, but Pixelmon. The Pokemon, uh... What is this? Why is it just staring at the wall? There are a lot of new Pokemon that I don't know about, so... That's an interesting one. Let's see, uh how this battle goes. Can't wait till there's battle animations. Um, but yeah, to 
finish my, my sentence finally. There we go. Um, Pixelmon has like non voxel graphics, it seems. Um, they're just, it's like kind of like high resolution 3D models of each Pokemon, so it doesn't really fit with the Minecraft aesthetic. Whereas this, these Pokemon are definitely more in the Minecraft style. This pine cut, no, I guess as you get closer, this pine cut does fit it. When you get further away, it kind of looks high resolution, but... Okay, now I need to wait for my Charmander to heal. Oh, we got a Ghastly. Okay, so I still do need to get some iron or copper and things like that. Because you basically combine those apricorns with copper to make a Pokeball. And then also, I'm going to need to make a, a um, like a healing station and a PC and all those, those things that you find in typical Pokemon games. Those can all be crafted in this game. I guess Pokemon do regenerate some health, and when you sleep, it fully, um, fully heals them as well. So I'm going to get a little stone so I can make some stone tools. And then I guess I'm not going to really need a sword. You can kill the Pokemon with, um, with tools, apparently, and get resources from them. I'm going to try not to do that, but we'll see. I'm not going to, I'm not going to roll it up, but I'm going to try to be as peaceful as I can. Even though I kind of want to take this, this is really a Pokemon. Skew, I skew, yeah. Once we get past like Generation 4 is kind of where I start getting a little iffy. I played a lot of Emerald. Um, and I did, yeah, because I was actually still a, a child at that point. Uh, played a lot of Emerald. I didn't really play Diamond and Pearl. I did get, I think, Platinum just so I could get the starters, and I brought them into um, to Soul Silver, and then I did play some Black and White and Black and White 2. I think I played more Black and White 2 than I played Black and White, and okay, maybe I shouldn't break the ones that aren't fully grown. And then I did play a little X and Y. I don't think I ever beat X and Y. And yeah, then um, let's go Pikachu. And besides that, I haven't played Sword and Shield or Arceus or um, nice, I got a red ap apricorn seed. Yeah, I haven't played any of those. Hey. Nice, there's still chickens. Whoa, that's lava right there. I'm gonna be mean and see if I can push. I wanted to see if that would interact with the lava. I'm assuming it will. This is gonna be really messed up so much for being a good person. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> Is it bunnery? Is that what you called it? Call it. That was dark. I'm sorry. I just wanted to kind of see how that would work. Oh no. Maybe that's its spirit right there looking at me. I also added some shaders. I'm playing this on my PC instead of uh, playing it on my laptop. So I have a little bit more power. So I think the game looks uh, 
looks a bit better. Okay, not well. The moon looks really cool, actually. I will say that. Uh, okay, not really sure what I'm doing here. I kind of want to get out of the ice area. I, I'd prefer a different biome. I almost, when I loaded this in initially, I thought about just uh, kind of restarting and creating a new one, but that's like level 16. I would like to get to a different biome and then start looking for Pokemon's names, I know that. I don't even think this Pokemon's are like even that new, but yeah, I wanna get to a new biome and start looking for copper so I can actually make some Pokeballs. Seems like there's a lot of lava. And this one, what is this? This is a lava waterfall, a magma fall if you will. some copper over there. And from what I've seen, you can find Pokemon everywhere in the, these Minecraft worlds. So even in caves and stuff, uh, I guess the appropriate Pokemon that you'd expect to find in caves will spawn. I should really make a shovel. if my 
my videos are as boring as I suspect. Um, that maybe that's a plus because I'm guessing a lot of you are watching this video to go to sleep. So hopefully these videos bore you into a deep, relaxing slumber. Seems like we found a new bio, but a biome, but it seems like it's Oh no, maybe this is the end of it. Okay, well we got some coal here, so that's a good we're making progress. And then if we can find like a cavern or something. I swear. on this. Okay, looks like I am. Come on, break. Okay, let's make a couple more torches. And yes, I've actually Pokemon games that were out that time with 
say it's even better than probably gold and silver. So I want to check that game out just to kind of see the pixel art in action. And I had a lot of Pokemon cards as a kid, but I never... It's very fun. It's cool to, I mean, 
mean, this is the first generation of the Pokemon card game, so I'm not sure if the mechanics have changed at all from the little research I did. Uh, seems like the cards have definitely changed a lot, like the cards now, the Pokemon have a lot more health, and I'm sure the, the move mechanics and stuff have changed. But it's cool to now know the basics of how the card game works, and it's pretty fun. Um, so yeah, if anyone has ever played that game back in the day, I just got my second Masters badge today. So I did that this morning, and then I fought the rival, and I lost by one Pokemon, which sucked because it's like, okay, I need to go record now. And then the rival popped up, I'm like, ah, oh, I should save this for later. But I got sucked in and did the fight and ended up losing, and I think it took like 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. So that's what I get for succumbing to my addiction. But yeah, it's very fun. The, the pixel art is, I think, very impressive. Like, it's not like you're gonna look at, it's not like this new, like, HD 2D mind-blowing stuff, but just for the time, like, how few pixels they had to use and how, how well they used those few pixels to recreate the card art from the classic Pokemon cards is just very impressive. So, I'm enjoying that. I do want to record a video of playing that at some point. I um, so the, the um, RG35XX does have an HDMI out, so I should be able to hook it into my recording software um, to record stuff. I just haven't tried it out yet, but that'd be one I'd definitely like to record. Not sure how much interest there would be in it, but if that's something you'd like to see, please uh, drop it in the comments. And I also really want to play a more World of Warcraft classic, but I've been looking at the analytics for my videos, and Minecraft videos are by far the most popular, especially ones with hard candy. But again, I'm recording this at like eight in the morning, so I'm not gonna start pounding Jolly Ranchers yet. I also would like to get Jawbreakers or something. I want to get a, a harder hard candy, so I don't have to eat so many candies for each video, because eating five or six, um, eating five or six Jolly Ranchers every video is not super sustainable for me. Like we 
much progress in this video now, especially since I've died. I do not understand the ice biome at all, apparently. I was not aware of the freezing the mat, um, freezing mechanics. Wow, what is that up there? Um, so I do think I'm going to regenerate a new world for the next video. Sorry if there's like weird cuts right there. Just had a plane fly overhead and a loud car go by. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this up soon and start a new Minecraft world for the next video. What is that? That's kind of a cool looking Pokemon. Um, Sorry, this is a rough one now. I'm getting work notifications and stuff like that. So I think that's a sign to end this. I'm sorry, this video was not very engaging. Hopefully you're just listening to it. And uh, my commentary was enough to put you to sleep. I promise the next Minecraft videos will be better. And uh, yeah, I hope you'll come back and join me in the next Cobblemon video. Where hopefully we actually uh, accomplish some things besides wasting four Pokeballs, uh, losing my Pokemon, and dying. But I thank you all so much for your support. If you're watching this to go to sleep, I hope you're not hearing this. And if you are, uh, I'm sure you will be asleep soon, so just relax. Uh, I hope you all have a nice night.